Hi guys, it's Rob. This week is John's theme and he wanted us to vlog. Um, and I suppose the biggest thing I want to vlog about is uh, Summer in the City last weekend, this, the big gathering I was at. When I spoke to you guys, I was about to go to the um, Saturday event, which um, was, I mean, immense. I thought the Friday event was big, but on the Saturday I counted at least 600 people there. And yeah, I did kind of try and count, but obviously it was... It was, it was a bit impossible, everyone was moving about and everything. Well, we walked up there and um, we walked into the park and there was a big, I mean, there was a big gathering like, like in the distance, but then there was a mini gathering here of people who were just surrounding Charlie is so cool like. And the poor man, <laughs> he was there for about two and a half hours, didn't move from that spot, <laughs> didn't actually make it to the gathering. Because like everyone wanted a handshake or a um or, or a summit signed or a photograph, but to the man's credit, he stayed there. He he, he saw everyone. It was um it was uh yeah, he's a trooper. <laughs> it was me. It was my flatmate Chris, uh, like Masca. It's my other flatmate Chris, who's crab sticks. Um, kick the PJ, uh, amazing film. Dan is not on fire. That was the group I, that I was generally with. Um, and on the Friday. Phil and Dan arrived later, and they they were the ones that got mobbed basically. And then, like, they arrived at a different time also as the rest the rest of us on the Saturday. And so it was it was me, Chris, Chris Crabsticks, and PJ. Um, and Crabsticks and PJ basically just were got mobbed as soon as someone stopped them halfway towards the gathering we just passed the charlie mob as it was officially known that day and um we were just halfway towards the rest of the gathering and then like a couple of people just like stopped them and then then people just started gravitating towards them and me and chris looked at each other and were like should we go and they're like it's like yeah so we just left them to it for a little bit there was a gig on the friday night and there was a gig on the Saturday night as well, and um, and there were so many fantastic people playing. There was um, Daniel Dobbs, who is the brother of Dean from Jack and Dean. There was Gary, who um, is uh, the man behind Chick TV. There was my friend Paul as well, whose name is Define Normal. There was also um, my friend Rick, Rick C, who had an album to launch, and uh, which I bought. Um, and I suggest you buy it as well. On the Saturday there was a gig with loads, loads of various people, um, including someone else, another friend of mine, uh, his name is Mr Tino Forever, and he was plugging his new album, which is called A Call to Arms, which uh, he recorded at the famous Abbey Road Studios, which is where the Beatles recorded their um, uh, music. And they're both, I mean, both Rick and Tino are very talented. I mean, all, all the people I've mentioned are very talented people. Tino also has a, a documentary of the whole Abbey Road experience in it. So, um, yeah, this, that's my that's my whoring out my friends bit for the moment. Um, but no, seriously, I'm, I'm not just whoring people out for the sake of it. I, I genuinely love the, their music and I, I, I just recommend it. Um, so, yeah. As far as what I've been doing for the past week, I've just been doing more house hunting and I mean I'm not going to bore you with the details because it seems that every single bloody week I just talk about house hunting here and it's starting to bore me. But if you really do want the details then I've started up a new blog. A lot of it is going to just be to do with Berlin and my and the whole being away and that. But I mean the first post that I've done is on uh, this whole saga with the house hunting. So um, yeah, I have a look. I'll put the link in the uh, description along with um, links to uh, these to all, all the people that I've mentioned um, so far. John, I hate you for that video. I, I hated you when you when you showed me it when you were here, and I hate even more that the fact you bloody put it online. Thank you for that. Um, if people want to hear me sing, they're gonna have to pay, darling. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm so kidding. Greg, you talked about wanting to lick my bald head. Well, funny you should say that, because this is what happens the, happened the first time I shaved my head back in 2009. Part of me wants to really lick the hair, because it, it's quite like, can I lick it? Oh, it felt quite nice! Yeah, I, I have some fantastic friends. Rodion, I haven't heard from you for, in a while, I hope everything's going okay with you. Caleb, I know what you mean about being poor, I am basically but this close to just losing my morals and my dignity and going onto a street corner. And also, that, oh, basically, 
I can't put into words how blooming touched I was by what you said in your your video. I was I was just like less. But I mean, I am fine. I'm fine. Everything stopped. Everything's been quiet for about a week and a half now. So um, it's it's all fine. But thank you, and and I mean that to all of you as well. Those of you who have. Um, uh, sent me messages. Anyway, as it seems to be the fashion this week, I'm going to do a comment of the week. And this week's comment comes from Wham Bam Ram. Interesting name. Um, and it's, I like the haircut. Thank you. <laughs> no, that's not, that's not my response. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I like the haircut as well. This is, is it, it is so much easier to manage and it's just like, it, I mean, okay, makes me look a bit older, but oh well. Thing is though about the haircut is that um I don't know it must have worked because I mean I've had more people actually well not come on to me as such but I've had a little bit more attention than I did beforehand though and the majority of people are saying oh I like that though my mother is insistent that me that telling me that she likes it will be the kiss of death it's not Anyway, I've, this has gone on long enough, so I shall see you guys soon with uh, Greg's theme, which I'm thoroughly looking forward to. Bye, guys.